Okay, write the problem vertically. Let's go. Step two, find common denominator using the LCM. Remember, when finding lowest common multiple for our denominator, you start with the smaller number, the lesser number first. Three, six, nine. Oh, wait a minute, right away. There it is, our common multiple, least common multiple, and our new denominator. Next step, rename the fractions. We're not going to rename our whole numbers. The whole numbers will remain the same name and the same <laughs> at this point anyway. So but we will rename our, both this time, both of our fractions will be renamed. Instead of 1 sixth, hmm, how do you go from 6 to 12? We multiply by 2. So if we multiply by 2 on the denominator, we need to whoosh, multiply by 2 on the numerator. And so 1 times 2 is 2. Down here, how do you go from 3 to 12? Multiply by 4. If you multiply by 4 on the denominator, then multiply whoosh, by 4 on the whoosh, whoosh, I messed up on the which who's there, uh, by the numerator. And so let's see, this would be 2 times 4. There we go. 3 times 4, 2 times 4. Mm -hmm. That's going to be 8. Next step, borrow if needed. Hmm, that's different. Let's see what that looks like. I want to clean this up here. I'm going to rewrite this over here just so we can see it nice and clean. 4 and 2 twelfths minus 2 and 8 twelfths. Now, how do we know if we need to borrow? Because if you go start over here with the fraction, let's take 2 twelfths, subtract 8 twelfths. Oh, we can't do that. So our 2 twelfths is going to need to borrow from the neighbor. Hello, 4, can I borrow from you? Yes, what would you like to borrow? I'd like to borrow 12 twelfths, please. That would be equal to 1. Yes, but if you take 12 twelfths from me, then that leaves me one shy of what I am now. So what do I be? Well, let's see what that looks like here. Let's see what that looks like. So we're going to basically decompose this 4 into 12 twelfths, which we know is the same thing as well, 1. All right, that's a funny one, isn't it? Okay. Um, now, so 12 twelfths, but the, what is that going to leave that 4 as? That 4 is not going to be a 4 anymore. If we're going to give 12 twelfths from the 4 to this fraction, now that 4, that four turns into a th 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 3, right? It's no longer a 4. So let's do this. This is 3, and we'll take 12 twelfths, and I'll add 12 twelfths to 2 twelfths. What is 12 twelfths plus 2 twelfths? That's going to be 12, 13, 14 twelfths. All right, so we want to we need a little bit more room here. We're going to slide you over a little bit, just a little bit, so we can put our new whole number, which is remember three. It's no longer four. Now we're going to make a little room down here, because now we're going to rewrite here, just so it looks nice and clean. Two and eight twelfths. See, that's borrowing. Now that we borrow, we can solve and simplify to simplest term. 14 twelfths minus 8 twelfths, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's 6 twelfths. See, 14 minus 8 is 6, and they keep the 12 the same. Now we can do 3 minus, three minus 2 is 1. Ah, almost done. It says uh, s simplify. We need to simplify this, and both of those are divisible by by uh, 6, as a matter of fact, that's the greatest uh, common factor is 6. So if you divide the top by 6 and the bottom by so let's rewrite. The 1 stays the same, but we can take the 6, divide the 6 by 6, and we get 1. Divide the 12 by 6, so this would be divided by, there we go, divided by 6, and we get 2. And our final answer is 1 and a half.